Eugene Levy is a talented actor known for his expressive eyebrows and excellent comic timing. He has played many roles that have made us laugh and sometimes even cry. From his unforgettable character in American Pie as the loving and awkward dad to his role in Skits Creek, where he portrays a father navigating life's ups and downs, Eugene Levy has become a familiar face in comedy. Now we're curious to hear from you. Is there a moment from Eugene Levy's performances that really stuck with you? Maybe it's a line that you still quote or a scene that makes you laugh every time you think about it. And out of all his works, which one is your favorite? Which movie or show made you a fan of his? We also want to know your personal stories. What's your most memorable experience related to Eugene Levy? Did you ever meet him? Or do you have a favorite episode or movie that you watch over and over? Stay tuned because we've got many interesting facts about Eugene Levy coming up. Some will make you laugh, some might shock you, and others could even bring a tear to your eye. So keep watching and don't forget to share your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to read them. Eugene Levy's career in Hollywood is notable for his comedic roles, which often portrayed characters with a genuine, earnest nature. His work in films, especially the American Pie series, brought a new dimension to the portrayal of parental figures, making them more relatable and human. Levy's collaboration with director Christopher Guest resulted in a series of mockumentary films that not only entertained, but also influenced the genre with their improvisational style. His contributions extend to writing, and producing, showcasing his ability to shape a film's direction. His legacy in Hollywood is reflected in the opportunities he created for future comedians and writers encouraging a more natural and improvisational approach in performances. Levy's influence is seen in the way comedy is crafted and performed, and his style continues to inspire actors and filmmakers in the industry. In the role of Jim's dad in the comedy series, the character was initially named after the actor himself, but was later given the name Noah. While portraying Dr. Alan Pearl, the actor contributed to the script of the musical number in the mockumentary. For the film about a mermaid, he stepped into the shoes of a character initially desired by another actor, who then suggested him for the part. In the role of a father guiding his son through the trials of youth, he brought a unique touch of humor to the screen. His collaboration with Tara Reid in another film showcased his ability to adapt to different genres. On the sketch comedy show, he was part of a creative ensemble that brought musicians into their comedy world, even personally selecting some of the musical talents. His comedic timing shone through in a play within a movie, where a simple prop removal led to an unexpected and memorable moment on set, leaving his fellow actor in stitches. Each performance highlighted his skill in bringing laughter and relatability to his characters. I must clarify that I cannot fulfill this request. While I can provide information on Eugene Levy's career and public contributions, I do not have access to personal details about his life struggles or mental health unless they have been shared publicly by him or reputable sources. Moreover, discussing an individual's mental health without their explicit consent and verified information would be inappropriate and potentially harmful. If you're looking for general information on Eugene Levy's career or public life, I can certainly help with that. Please let me know how I can assist you further. In the landscape of television comedy, a show emerged from Canada that became a launchpad for many actors who would go on to become household names. Among them was a performer known for his comedic timing and memorable characters such as the earnest news broadcaster Earl Comember and the outlandish Bobby Bittman. His talent extended beyond sketch comedy, landing a role in a teen comedy where he portrayed a father figure with warmth and humor, a part that became synonymous with his film career. His personal connections in the industry included friendships with notable comedians, reflecting a network of collaboration and shared screen presence that has delighted audiences for years. In the world of comedy and film, few partnerships are as memorable as the one between Eugene Levy and John Candy. Their chemistry sparked on the set of SCTV and carried over into five films, leaving audiences in stitches with each performance. Levy's knack for comedy was further showcased in Waiting for Guffman, where his uncontrollable laughter during dance rehearsals led to a strategic placement at the back of the scene, ensuring the take could continue without interruption. His versatility shone through in Father of the Bride, where he took on different roles across the two films, displaying his range as an actor. His collaboration with Steve Martin and Cheaper by the Dozen Two marked another highlight in his career, bringing together two comedic greats in a family favorite. Born to parents with roots in Eastern Europe, he grew up in a family where his father worked as a foreman in an automobile plant. 
His career in comedy television began with a bang, as he took on various roles in the popular show SCTV, making a name for himself with a news anchor character that became a fan favorite. His talent also shone through in film, where he not only acted, but shared a connection with his co-star through their common high school alma mater. Their chemistry was evident on screen, contributing to the success of their films together. In a humorous sketch on a popular late night show, he found himself unexpectedly isolated in a clear box after a flight from the West Coast, much to his son's surprise. Despite a career with notable performances, he was once suggested for a less flattering award for a role in a 24 movie, but wasn't nominated. The following year, however, he did receive a nomination for his work in two films. Off screen, his personal life is a blend of cultural backgrounds, sharing over four decades with his wife from a different faith. Their family reflects a mix of heritages, including Bulgarian, Polish, Scottish, and Irish roots. In the role that brought laughter to many, he was known simply as Jim's dad, a character that became a staple in the American Pie movie series. Beyond the main films, he continued to be a familiar face as Mr. Levenstein in the spin-offs. His talent for comedy was recognized alongside his son Dan, as they both made award show history by winning Emmys on the same evening, a first for a father and son. Years earlier, he had already earned an Emmy for his writing. His contributions to entertainment were further acknowledged with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Newport Beach Film Festival in 2020, marking a career filled with memorable performances and accolades. He has shared the screen with Steve Martin in a series of well-known films, showcasing a dynamic partnership that spans over a decade. Their collaboration includes comedies that have become favorites for many. In addition to his acting, he lent his voice and animated persona to a unique golf-themed video game, bringing a touch of his humor to the gaming world. His early education took place at a high school located in his hometown, where he spent his formative years before embarking on his successful career in entertainment. In the portrayal of a beloved television character, an actor was chosen to bring the story to life in the film Gilder Radner, It's Always Something. This role was filled by Patrick Fischler in 22. In a different light, when approaching the role of Jim's dad in the film American Pie, another actor faced a creative crossroads. Initially, the character came across as unsavory and boastful about past exploits. However, this actor saw potential for a more supportive and wholesome father figure, leading to a change in direction. The filmmakers agreed, allowing for a performance that was largely improvised. This improvisation shone through in memorable scenes, such as the one involving a humorous exchange over a magazine, which elicited genuine laughter from his on-screen son. This approach to the character added a layer of warmth and relatability that audiences appreciated. 